Is it still worth studying, working hard to become a programmer, not even being sure that you will be able to land a job? You know what is the worst case scenario? The worst one you can think of is not being replaced by AIs. The worst case scenario and the most probable one is to give up now in 2023 and to realize in 2028 that developers are still in demand, that they are making good money and that you are still in a job that you hate, not making the same amount of money. This is the worst case scenario. And if you give up now, this is the worst case scenario that is guaranteed to happen. So if you don't give up, you're sure to never leave this worst case scenario. But you are programmers. Even if you're just an aspiring programmer, you need now to think like a programmer and analyze the situation. What if junior developers were replaced by AIs that senior developers would use to develop what junior developers usually program themselves. There are very few chances that senior developers would be the guys using AIs to program functionalities that are below their pay grade. So what would probably happen is that other guys, let's name them prompt engineers, would be hired to use these AIs and to prompt them. But these guys, these prompt engineers, they would need to understand what the AI would produce. If you've played with these AIs, I'm sure you've noticed that what they do is far from perfect. But how can you know this if you're not a programmer yourself? So you need to write another prompt, adding more details, specifying how you want the result to be, how do you want it to be organized in one or several files. Maybe you'll be asked to develop a specific functionality using the same CSS library, for example. So you should know that you will need to ask the prompt to use Tailwind or Bootstrap or any other of these, all of the many CSS libs that exist. Or maybe you'll see the result and you will notice that uh, accessibility has not been properly implemented. If you're in countries like the US or Canada, accessibility is very important. So how would you know that accessibility has been poorly implemented if you don't know how to program and how to check these functionalities? Or maybe, you see, to make long story short, the guys who will use the AIs will probably not be senior developers because they have other tasks to do, like designing uh, the application, creating a good architecture, all these kind of things. The other scenario that may happen is that there will be less job for junior developers, but, but all the customer facing roles will still exist, meaning that you can decide to become a product owner. You can decide to become a project manager or a tester. So even if suddenly AIs replace junior developers, there are still many different positions that you can specialize in in the software industry. You can also decide to have a specific business knowledge. It might be insurance or logistic. It doesn't matter. So the thing would be that you could become this kind of consultants who would use an AI to ask specific questions to the AI. And as a business expert, you would check if what is produced by the AI makes sense. But again, I frankly doubt that uh, AIs will replace junior developers for a good reason is that the junior developers of tomorrow that companies need then become intermediate and after that senior developers and all companies still desperately need developers. So if they stopped hiring junior developers, who then would replace or would support their current senior developers who have many tasks to do that, that they don't have enough time to do. You see, after working in many companies as a software engineer, I can tell you that very often tasks are postponed, not because these functionalities are not needed, but simply because there are not enough guys between the keyboard and the chair to implement these functionalities. 20 years ago, we've been told that uh, products like Dreamweaver would replace developers. It didn't happen. Then 10 years later, the same rumors were spread when WordPress appeared. Yeah, there won't be a need for web developers because uh, yeah, everybody will use WordPress. It's not the case. Some companies use, some small businesses use WordPress, but the big ones, they still want custom apps that uh, don't look like the, the apps or their competitors. Then 
Remember, it was just two or three years ago. No code should have replaced us, you see, and there would be no need for developers because with no code tools, anybody could develop apps. Still not the case. So yeah, okay, AI is a totally different beast, but business is business, companies still need to have complex and custom applications that an AI is not able to create now. All the demos you see are just apps with just a couple of functionalities, very often just one. So even if this AI progressed exponentially, tremendously during the next couple of years, I mean, it wouldn't be enough for them to be able to tackle very complex apps. So keep coding, learn to play with AIs, and remember that as developers, you would be able to use AIs in way more efficient ways than non-developers, which would still give you a huge advantage compared with non-programmers. So please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I see you soon.